show and uh, just so you know we are uploading all of our photos all of our gray female arena shots are already up on our um, Brahmin photo site and uh, I'm putting up the red female backdrop photos as we speak and we'll be putting up the red bull photos from the arena shortly and then we'll be putting up the uh, gray bowl photos probably tomorrow in the morning. Kind of worked till midnight last night getting all your photos up. So uh, there you go. Class 28 had one entry, so I'm thinking that it will come in during the championship drive. And it looks like our class winner here is going to be Spring the Walters Live Shop. We come into the class, uh, you know, differences in the class, differences in size and frame. But, but again, uh, we're just going to go with the one that to me uh, takes, uh, takes age in correlation to his just his uh, width and shape as far as muscle. To me, just has a little more in relation to his frame, more width and shape and stifle center portion of his quarter and i think uh, as he matures it's just going to be a little more collective in his overall framework uh the young bull here in second uh, he's long-sighted he's really good topped individual right behind the point of his hump has a lot of length of uh, uh hip to him uh, maybe in relation to that give him just a little more width and shape and uh as he comes in maturity should give that congratulations on our first and second Results of class 28. First place goes to entry 708 Carson Rob. Now don't forget everybody. And our second place oh, went to 366 Garrett Thomas. Okay, so I'm sorry. That must have been class 28 and there must have been a... I must have lost something. So that was Carson that uh, won that first class and then it was uh, A.T. Brahmins that was second. Okay, so this must be class 29. Let's see, I believe this is gonna be class 29. Hey guys, I think I got everybody kind of out of whack. This is this going is to be. This is class 29. This is class 29. So there was an add on into class 28. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. And the magnificent Madison is in the arena. Along with it, looks like we have a Schulte and a Bullseye Ranch. And it looks like we have. A nice class of uh, great bull kids, uh, bulls with uh, real complete in their overall design. Real complete as far as, uh, you know, their, 
their ratio or correlation in relation to their frame and just really complete. I mean, I can't say enough about, you know, the, the quality. Individual starts the class uh, is one that uh, to me is, is really unique. Uh, you know, he's one that uh, has some width and shape to him, you know, really in a natural way. You know, really good right behind the point of his shoulders, right behind his hump. Runs out through, has some width and shape, squareness of bone, and again, a bull that uh, has that much just, uh, you know, reach and look to him, has some uh, softness of metal to him, some, some just total body. If anything, when we watch him walk, just give him maybe a little more base foot, just don't want him just to start rolling, maybe on those uh, pastures, but that would be just a uh, getting really picky on one that uh, we're leading off with, but a really, really, really nice bull calf. You know, a really nice bull calf coming here in a second is just going to get better and better. He's one that I do like in motion. I mean, he's got that, uh, you don't use the word squishy pastures, uh, big square foot, uh, you know, that means so much in keeping them sound and as they grow and mature, and, and he's certainly set that way. The curvature is hot you know, some width and shape to him. Maybe not quite the length, probably doesn't have the quite the length the hip as far as his hooks back in through his pins, but uh, really complete individual. Nice bull calf in third here. Uh, one that uh, has some shape, real youthful looking, like that lift he has in his front end. Very uh, attractive individual, very balanced, with a lot of eye appeal. Congratulations, three high quality bull calves. Thank you, sir. First place goes to entry 695, Bullseye Ranch. Second place goes to 413, Schulte Cattle Company. And third goes to entry 540. Okay, so Walter in Sol our Stop. first place, now in that last in class, last we had Bullseye Ranch. That's going to be Mr. B-E-R uh, Quincy 714. Sorry, let me back up for you guys as this next class enters. Okay, so in that last class, in that last class, the winner was Bullseye Ranch. That's that B E R Quincy 714. That's going to be an L C H S Mr. Paquin 95 over 5 son out of JDH Good Omanso 130 over 0. And in second, we had the um, Schulte Cattle Company entry, and that was gonna be Mr. SCC Schulte's, and that's gonna be an SG Elroy son out of Lady H. Peyton Manson. Now we are on class 30, which will be followed by class 31 and 32, which are slightly larger, and then we'll do the Cap Champion Drive. So we are on class number 30. Class number 30. Thanks guys for watching. Let us know where you're watching from. You're rooting for anybody special? Whoops. Again, we're going to run through some of our sponsors because we really do appreciate them. Uh, helping us be here. So uh, we're going to let you guys know about the AT Brahmins Fall Born Prospect Sale that's gonna be coming. It'll be at the end of April, I believe in 2021. And it will be online on our Best Cattle Sales um, website. And then uh, thank you to Rich Cattle Company also for deciding to choose bestcattlesales.com for your online auction. We'll be hosting an auction for them in May of 2021. We have the Southern Bells. Southern Bells, there's going to be 15 elite red and gray Brahmin show heifers uh, that will sell. And that's going to be in Hattiesburg, Mississippi in July. 
want to remind everybody about the C&R Farms replacement female sale. That's going to be June 12, 2021 in Cairo, Georgia. And super excited for them because all of their Golden Certified F1s have been sired by the sire of the Reserve Grand Champion from Thursday's show. So Cole and Brianna Prince, uh, looking forward to that event. And then, of course, have to say thanks to Hatch Cummings, Red Smith Genetics. Uh, just has done a tremendous job. We like to make fun of him and say he's the Rookie of the Year because he hasn't shown for like 20 years. He's not here today, but I do believe that um, the lovely Bethlehem Bishop was showing some for him. And then, of course... Gemstones, the ST Genetics, ST Genetics and HK Cattle. They're going to have their Gemstones sale January 27, 28. And that is going to be at uh, on Cattle in Motion. We're going to go back into the arena. And then you guys uh, see how they place this class? Hey, Deborah and, uh, Townsend, how you are know, you? Again, as we make changes and, and look and compare, you know, that's not all that. And again, they just excel in different areas. But again, to me, the one that uh, I'd like today, and he's put together like I, I would uh, know that he'd probably develop in, in a, like two, three, four years from now is when we're starting the class with. <clears throat> and again, he takes those uh, traits as for his muscle, and for his body, as for his correctness from the ground up. And he is uh, really long strided and good feet point all right the right direction and he's got some total growth to him and extension you know in a right way with not running away and leaving uh, leaving a rear end or a body behind but uh, we like that kind the bull in second uh, you know he's in second not because uh, you know he's smaller than the third fourth place bull but he's second because he's more complete complete from the standpoint in correlation to growth and some development he's got. He's got some muscle that's uh, designed in the right way. He's got some width and shape and dimension as far as body in the right way. And he combines that uh, very well together. And congratulations him. I like his sheath design the way he is too. The bull in third kind of follows him in type and kind. One with, uh, you know, some total uh, length of stride. He's really a, a strong uh, Boned individual, real square bone, big footed, I like that, and uh, some total growth to him, can great. Uh, you need some extra extension and growth. Just like to see him go together more, and that be the bull and forth, go together better. Maybe just uh, lengthen him out somewhat there in his, uh, from his hooks back in through his pins. Then the, uh, you know, coming here is again, one that we appreciate that dark pigmentation. He has some total completeness and, and you really like the uh, structural correctness that he's got all the way through. Congratulations. Okay, let's talk about who won class 30. Class 30. 659, Heritage Cattle Company. So 659 was Team Heritage. Second goes to 296, Razorback Farms. And second Third was goes Razorback Farms. So let's talk about uh, class 30. So first was uh, Heritage Cattle Company. That's going to be Mr. H. Statesman Manso. That's going to be Mr. H. Thor Manso, son, out of Lady H. Bella Manso. And then we had Brandy Barnes on the stick with the Butler's Pulled Co. 3 over 0. That, of course, is the Razorback Farm entry. Razorback Farm owns that bull. Um... So Razorback Farm owns the second place in that class, and that's the Butler's Pulled Co. Butler Pulled Texoma, son out of JDH Lady Daisy Manso. So first and second in that last class. And we are now going to a bigger, slightly larger in the numbers class, class number 31. And then we will move along to class number 32. And from class number 32, we'll be going into the calf division drive. Don't forget, guys, we are putting up all of our photos on our photo site, ramenphoto.com. We actually have um, a lot of the backdrop photos that we took of the red females um, already up 
all of the gray female arena shots are in the arena. I mean, are in the uh, on the website, as well as the red females and the groups. So again, this is going to be. Let's see. Oops, that's not class thirty. I lied. That is. This is going to be class thirty-one. Class thirty-one. I'll recognize you because I remember those days. Alrighty, we are in class 31, class 31. We want to remind everybody about the Heart of the South uh, Brahmin Replacement Female Online Sale. That's going to be January 16th and 17th on Best Cattle Sales. And of course, we just had the big win in that last class with Team Heritage. So don't forget about the Team Heritage Spring Brahmin Bull Online Sale. That is going to be Tuesday, February 2nd. Um, so don't forget that sale, and it is also going to be on bestcattlesales.com. And then we have our two uh, sales for our Mexico friends, uh, Brahmin Selecto. That's a group of breeders in Mexico that have just done a tremendous job. Um, they do uh, a great job with their breeding programs. They had a really nice sale. It was the very first online auction um, in uh, September of 2020. And so we're doing another one, February 6th and 7th of 2021 on Best Cattle Sales. And then of course we have um, the genetic sale that we're going to be doing, Subasta Genetica. That is going to be held um, February 26th, 27th, and 28th on Best Cattle Sales. So those are some sales that uh, you can learn about. Go to bestcattlesales.com. And these are people that sponsor us and help us stay on the road so we can show you all these great cattle. Oh, thank you, Ed and Francis Colors, which let's go back. They're going to like be really fond of this particular sale. They're part of Team Heritage. Um, they've been watching all day from home, staying safe, staying healthy. And so they've been watching from home. And I really appreciate the fact that you've enjoyed it. So shout out to our good friends, Team Heritage. They're like, go team, go. Marcus Borges, how are you? Glad you are watching us. And Jason McMullen, Jason McMullen is watching. So we're gonna talk about the sale that you're gonna be part of, Jason. Whoops. Sorry, let's try again. Okay, so Jason is going to be part of the um, Southern Bell sale. That's 15 elite red and gray Brahmin show heifers and donor prospects. And I do have to say that I have um, seen some of the sneak peeks. And what they're thinking about putting in this sale is fancy, fancy. So um, those are going to be offerings from Boga Cheetah Cattle, D7 Cattle, Jason McMullen, uh, Jones Farms, and Wedgeworth Cattle. And that's going to be July of 2021 and in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. So it looks like our judge is uh, making some decisions. So I'm going to jump back to the arena and let's see what he has to say.
another competitive class and again some taking and, and giving the class and, and differences in the class uh, you know performance and uh, you know don't sound like a broke record when it come to the mic but again the one that uh, I like his design is the one that wins the class and and of course I do uh, you know to me he checks more boxes has less faults uh, you know, it's more complete, more balanced uh, than any bull that we've got in the class. Uh, and that starts with movement, that starts with correlation of body and width and shape to the to his uh, to his frame. And that's the bull that we're starting the class with. One in second, uh, you know, he's shown full of just red meat. I mean, he is ripped in his top, he's wide over his loin, he's full in through his quarter. Just like to give him a little more lift in that chest floor. We're looking at him in comparison to age. Maybe give him a little more total base in that foot in his total I'll answer that question about the showmanship off. in just the next a minute. Bull coming in the lineup, you know, I like his design too. I like his length of body. I uh, like to see him with uh, more just total spring and mass, uh, both rear and just total out of the top of his uh, shoulder, his blades in relation to his frame but he's a good footed well balanced individual a lot of just total length the bull there in third really complete one in fourth uh, as we go through and again complete from the standpoint that he balances up with a lot of just traits very good in his total movement we go through maybe he gets a little closer behind as we watch walk out maybe in comparison but again a real youthful looking individual Really a long-spined individual coming next there, the dark pigmented bull, a long-bodied, and then the bull that uh, ended with has some total muscle. Maybe just give him a little more flex in those hocks as we watch him walk out. But again, interesting class uh, young bull calves. Okay, we're going to be going to class number 32 next. And as far as the um, intermediate showmanship, we're not going to still be here live streaming, guys, because we didn't know about it and we weren't prepared. But um, I believe it's going to be Second after to the last class here. Bullseye Ranch. Third okay, so six, in seven, first six, in that last class, we had AT Mr. Bowen, 771 over zero. That's going to be a Mr. V8458 over seven son, which of course is Noble. And that is out of Miss AT510. That was a very big class. Second is going to be Mr. B.E.R. Roosevelt, 706. That's going to be a Mr. B.E.R. 427 son out of Miss B.E.R. 450. So we're now on our very last class of this division. Early junior bull calves. And it looks like I lost a camera. And I think Brandolin is still taking backdrop photos. I think. So this is class 32, class 32. Is Brandolin still taking backdrop photos? Is she? Huh? Okay. When she comes back, I just wanna let her know we battery down on one of the cameras I think it's no problem we just lost a camera huh no yeah there's still people on the backdrop taking photos wow this is a great shot right here and we have two cameras so we have all that really matters we're good What is someone asking? Someone is asking, I saw a question somewhere. Do they have a lineup for the Gray Bull Show going on right now. Oh, do you want to see the catalog? Let me grab that and put it in the comments. We had it earlier today during the day, but it started at nine this morning and we've been going all day. No breaks. So let me get that for you guys and I will put that in the comments so we'll have a lineup of the show.
Sorry. Okay, I can't do two things. Well, I can't do three things at once. So let me back up, get y'all a good view while I go do a little homework for you and get you the, I will put up the um, Gray Bull Show uh, catalog here in a momentito. Let's see. Oh, I think Iran beat me to it. Thank you, Iran. Yep, I think he did. Didn't know you were still watching, Iran. Thank you. Wow, I'm watching this on my laptop. It's not too bad. It looks pretty good. Hey, Rachel, glad you are watching. Hope you guys are staying warm. You know what, Rachel, it is supposed to snow. I am like freaking out. We're supposed to have anywhere from four to six inches of snow. And uh, as Rachel knows me, I like warm weather. Manuel Amperon is watching too. And Manuel, you know I really like it when it's hot. I do not like cold weather, so not um, something I'm excited about. I'm hoping they're just lying to us and it's not really gonna snow. Oh, Shelby, you're gonna eat chicken and sausage gumbo and I am sitting here with a cup of coffee. All I've had all day. Well, I did have a little cupcake, so. All right, we are in class 32. This is the last class of the Gray Bull Show. Okay, and he has made his decision. First is gonna be the SSS Mr. Mojito Manso which is gonna be a Mr. V8 259 over seven sun out of Miss V8 Eight twenty-one over seven, and then in second we're going to have a three eighty sun, which is going to be Mr. V eight eight seventy two over eight. We have some trade off and trades with one that to me that uh, comes to the top, and uh, as we go through and piece these together, you know, it is an individual that uh, you know at first I back off him and just lift him in his chest for somewhat, give him a little more just. Uh, Gas up and through his front end, but man, from the one of his shoulders back, uh, he just calf champion up drive. And take, you know, such a calf champion big body drive. and square hip. And if you'd walk up and as you're walking out, you'll Molly's see Molly's watching. Hey, Molly. Out. <laughs> you know, one that uh, good really, golly, uh, Miss Molly. We really miss you. reaches with a stride and balanced in that top line and has some fullness and thickness, and again, correlates up good. You know, the bullet coming in second, really attractive design. Design, uh, you know, with straightness of lines, straightness of top, you know, right behind the point of the, the uh, shoulders, right behind his hump. Just, he has that elevation in his front end. Just gonna mature and just uh, uh, get better every day of his life. And again, not getting picky, but maybe in relation, just give him a touch more width and shape down low, a little more just total width and shape up and through his uh, chest floor. You know, I like the design as, as far as the, the natural muscle that we've got in this uh, third place individual here. You know, big body, just looking to go together just a little better. You know, there's times to see him just want to run and grab and use him in class and, and as we go, as he walks on out, let's walk on out. Uh, as an individual that, uh, you know, has some just total reach, just total muscle, just uh, like him a little, not as quite as neat as design. As we come to the next bull, one that's really clean made, he's cleaning his chest floor, clean his deal. He's an individual that I just like just to see him just reach a little, gets just a little shorter in his overall stride as we watch him move, as we go through, but a real clean underlined individual. We had a battery die, 
Or I lost a camera. Of class I think that one, yeah. First place goes to entry 543, Walter's Livestock. Second goes to entry 677, VA Branch. Third goes to 544, it won't. Livestock. It probably and won't recharge. Two, eight, two, eight, yeah. That's okay. You want me to take another battery down there so we don't lose that one? Yeah, they should be on about one. the same time. First and yeah. seconds in. Yeah. That one has the big battery, but that one oh. lasts a lot longer. Division. Yeah. Let's um, change. Class 28 uh, was Carson Rob. Okay. Entry they want me to go back out after this division and do more. Okay, perfect. Entry so I'm going to leave short ones on. Ranch, Mr. Well, then just, yeah, give me this. Class 30, entry 659 from the Heritage Cattle Company, Mr. H. Statesman Manso. And class 31, yeah. Garrett Thomas, entry 367, 18, Mr. Bowen, 771, and there's, zero. Um, let me get you a battery. Put it in your back pocket. I want them up there. I want them up there. The big time. For the, oh, oh, no, I have them for the camera, sorry. Our second. Let me give you a battery, and then when you go out, just check it to see how many. Garrett three. Thomas, in 3366, AT, Mr. Hudson, 798-0-0. Grab that Schulte Cattle Company, in entry 413, Mr. SCC Schulte's Kim. Razorback Farms, and okay, guys. 296, so Butler's Puddle Home Road, and Molly. We miss Miss Molly. Ranch, entry 697, I'd like to say good dolly, Miss Molly. Yeah, that's okay, Molly. And the V8 Ranch, entry 677, okay, Mr. V8 872. Over we eight. are down to two cameras because we ran out of condition. battery on one. Let's hope we can keep going on these others. So we are in the half champion drive. This is our calf champion drive. We're only gonna have two angles. Sorry. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Greetings from Mally. I am so glad that you love Brahmin cattle. What time is it in Mally? I don't even like know what time it would be. Is it early in the morning? Is it late at night? So glad you guys are watching. And it is starting to get a little chilly here, guys. Of course, we're supposed to have we're supposed to have some uh, uh, snow. Not excited about the snow moment. I'm freaking out about that. Okay, it looks like he was walking our champions. And it looks, I'm sorry, it looks like he was walking our first place winners. And it looks like they're gonna be on the far side, no? Okay. So, class winners. Oops, sorry. We have on the far side, we have Bullseye Ranch. We have Heritage. We have AT Brahmins. And we have Walter's Livestock. Then. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed Walter's livestock up at the very top. It's hiding. We are in Belton, Texas. Believe it or not, it's going to snow in Belton, Texas. That's like so crazy. We're in central Texas. And so uh, normally it wouldn't be that cold here, but it is. 
So we are in Texas, and for some reason we're under a winter storm warning. Got a good lineup in uh, these bull camps uh, we go through, and uh, it's been a lineup that we've taken, and, and uh, you know we've given up uh, give and take. Uh, we've given up some muscle, we've given up some extension, but we try just to balance them up. Uh, you know, look at them today, uh, how we think they'll uh, grow uh, in months ahead and feed and become a mature breeding bull as we go all the way through up. And again, we've got some differences in this lineup. Uh, we've got a little differences in movement, uh, little differences in width and shape, and differences in completeness all the way through. But again, uh, we're gonna end up with a champion in reserve and, uh, and we're sure proud of as we come out of here. Again, uh, just give a big hand to your uh, camp champion exhibitors and owners and uh, we'll uh, select uh, your champion. Okay, the judge is getting ready to choose a champion. He's walking through, he's looking at um, our second places also. He's backing up a little bit. We agree, these are really top quality cattle. It's just been a tremendous show. Really, really some great, great cattle. Looks like he's walking towards uh, Team Heritage. Yep, it is, whoops, sorry, missed the judge there. It is Team Heritage. So that is gonna be the Mr. H Statesman. If I have that correct. Yep, it's gonna be Mr. H Statesman. Mr. H Statesman and the, um, I believe the Razorback entries coming in for second consideration, for reserve consideration. So that was the Statesman Bull. Now we have the class winners and then the one that was second in class. So. And it looks like he's walking towards Bingo, it's going to be the Walters Livestock with the SSS Mr. Mojito Manso. That's going to be a Mr. B8 259 over 7 son out of Miss V8 821 over 7. So our champion again goes to a uh, big shout out to Mr. H Statesman Manso. That's a Mr. H Thor Manso son out of Lady H Bella Manso. And of course the... Um, uh, reserve champion went to the Walters Livestock led SSS Mr. Mojito. Heritage Cattle Company, Company entry 659, Mr. H. States, Statesman Manso. Our reserve cat champion went to entry 543 from the Walters Livestock, Mr. SSS Mr. Mojito Manso 12. We're now ready to start our next division, Intermediates, with Class 35. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to start our Intermediate Division. As I said earlier, we're just going to keep rolling. We're not going to, like, break up like we have um, in the females because uh, it gets kind of hectic with some of these smaller classes. So we are going to go to Class number 35, which is going to be the first class of the, whoops, sorry, not, it's not calf champions. We're going to go to our first class of the intermediate, first class of our intermediate bulls. We have two, we'll have four classes, and then we will bop along into the junior. Oh, Rancho El Santuria. There have been a lot of champions and a lot of cattle sired by Noble. Um, we will be posting the, uh, the uh, wins um, later. If you go back and watch the show, you'll see that there have been quite a few uh, Noble daughters that have won. Um, and um, I'm sure there have been some Noble sons. Um, but I know earlier today we had quite a few Nobles. So yeah, there are um, definitely some Noble Calves, noble sons and daughters, progeny of the great noble. Okay, it looks like we are going to go with the heritage in first. This is going to be um, 
Mr. H. Malone Manso. This is a Maddox son. This is a Mr. H. Maddox Manso. Start off the class with really out of Lady H. Adeline Manso. Has a lot just total width and shape and mass. Uh, you know, really nicely designed. But right there at the point of his shoulders back, uh, you know, goes into an opened up chest floor and, you know, naturally sprung with his rib and uh, just, the, just the width and shape that he has. You know, down his top and all the way through. Real full and thick to his quarter, and really, uh, you know, as you back off, very attractive. Uh, as we go through, uh, you know, he does have some just total growth and just a good uh, substance and real world Brahmin characteristics. Uh, you know, as he walks off here, you know, you're just a little tender in that left back uh, leg as he comes off, but, uh, you know, curvature of his hocks and pastures and feet, you know, looked in great shape to me. The next one here, the dark pigmented individual. Uh, you know, uh, you like that uh, turn that he's got to his top, and the young lady leads him out here. You find a, you know, one that uh, has some width and shape and muscle to him, and you know, just a lot of good quality about him. Dark pigmentation that he's got, sound made from the ground up, and you can't get better than that. Okay, in first we had, of course, the Maddox son, which is going to be Mr. H. Malone Manso. And in first second we had the J.D. Hedgens Ferguson division uh, entry. That's going to be J.D.H. Mr. Manso, 522 over 1. Now we're going to be moving on into class number 36. Class 36. And just so you guys know, we will be at the Oklahoma Cattlemen's Congress next week on Friday and on Saturday. So if anybody needs any of the commercials, kind of like we've been running um, throughout this show with uh, where we tell you about different events or different sales or, or different services or anything, just visit with us on, at Brahmin Journal. So info, you can email info at brahminjournal.com or you can Facebook message us. Um, the whole world will get to see what you're talking about. So if anybody's interested in any of our commercials that we have, we will be running those during the Cattlemen's Congress. Yes, that is right. Mr. H. Malone Menso, 32. That's right, Carlos. He just won that last class. And of course, he is a Maddox son. Right, this is class number 36.
Sorry guys, we're down to just the two cameras and so some of those kind of cool camera angles I could give you don't work because I ran out of juice, ran out of battery. Okay, he looks like he is walking them or has he chosen? Let's see. Nope, I think he's making some decisions. quality class and again the individual that uh, cranks off in the front end uh, you know does with a lot of width and shape and masculinity and and again one that uh, has a lot of just power to him but yet uh, good from the ground up and uh, you know with a good foundation all the way through you know there's things I think in the lineup you just like maybe just lengthen him out somewhat uh, up in through his front end to give you a little more look you know the really attractive pull from the sides is uh, second place. He's just some added extension, extension of body length. You know, really good on his feet and legs. Feet going the right direction. Long strided individual. Maybe in relation to that frame, just give him a little more shot of just base width. I think as we watch him walk off from the rear, a little more up in through his front end. Dark pigmented bull here coming next. Sorry One guys, that, a little too uh, fast there. He does a lot of things right. I mean, he's real complete as far as his body, width, and shape. Intermediate the showmanship, I don't know. The next bull is an individual like his design. You know, you look at him in a side view, and he's really straight top. A uh, lot of strength right behind the height of the... It'll be the after the end of, of the these gray bull show. It's going to be late, guys. Out here leads. You know, from a standstill standpoint, you know, there's one not designed any nicer than the bull that's uh, next. Uh, we put him in motion, just wanting to have a little more freedom of movement. Uh, when it starts from the ground up, we move on, move on out. And then the dark pigmented bull here is one that uh, is one that uh, we like his uh, total movement. Just like to lengthen him out somewhat, give him a little more just total length of body, a little more total spring reel. Okay, everybody, that is class number 36, and our winner was Satterfield Ranch. I'm not sure which one. We're going to have to wait and Results find out. Results class 36, early senior bull calves. First place goes to entry 117, Satterfield Ranch. Okay, that's going to be the SNS Mojo. Second place SNS goes Mojo. to 118, Satterfield oh, Ranch. Oh, first and second was Satterfield Third Ranch. Congratulations, Dr. Satterfield. Okay, so in first we have the Mr. SNS Mojo. That's a 5412 over 9. And that's going to be a Mr. SNS Mighty Mouse son out of Lady A, Lisa Manso. No wonder the judge likes those two guys. The judge likes those two because they are flush mates. So we had Mr. SNS Mojo 412 over 9, and that's going to be. And we also had Mr. SNS Pac-Man 414 over 9. And they're both going to have been Mr. SNS Mighty Mouse Sons out of the great Lady H. Lisa Manso. So congratulations to our good friends at Satterfield Ranch for some like really cool breeding there. And now we're going to go to class number 37. Class number 37. Okay. And like I said, I only have like two cameras because I lost a camera. So sorry. We are out of luck on that one. Okay, we have class 37, then we go to class 38, and then we will be doing a drive. Just so you know, guys, I am getting ready to put up all of our Red Bull Arena photos. Hang on, cowboy. 
He says he feels fresh. He's tired. It's cold. Okay, let's get you back to this camera and see how you guys like this. So again, just a reminder, if you like what you see and you wanna help sponsor us, we have some great sponsors like the Carolina Brahmin Breeders Association with their 41st annual sale. Okay. We have, let's go back into the arena, get you guys a little smaller. There we go. So again, if you want to help keep us on the road, we do take sponsors. We do have commercials, things like for the Carolina Brahmin Breeders Association, the, oops, sorry, oops, sorry, messed up. Sorry. Two Diamond P cattle. Family Tradition Online Sale. Southern Classic Sale. Elgin Breeding Service. ST Genetics Gemstones online sales at the end of the line. So if you have any interest, just reach out to us. We will be at the Cattlemen's Congress. Don't forget that annual, the fifth annual C&R Farms replacement female sale. A little information for in the morning. Oh, great. The I hope it's not gonna be snow. The show will begin at 9 a.m. Okay. With red females. 9 a.m. Red females. All right, guys. And it looks like we have a first and a second in this class 37. Looks like it's going to be Heritage, Team Heritage. Followed up by uh, Bull's Eye Ranch. Here's we line these up, and uh, you know, starting with a with a bull that uh, packs a lot of just uh, muscle, and when he relaxes, uh, you know, I think he comes to the top. Uh, you know, just his straightness of lines that he's got, but he's really big hipped. Uh, you know, you know, really unique is the turn that he's got down the lower portion of his quarter. Good on his feet and legs, and to me, gives a little more extension and up in through his front end as we go as we compare to the second, third, and fourth place bull. You know, I like the bull in the second. He very much follows his own type and kind. Uh, you know, there's times he gets just a little shorter about his front end, but he's one, two, and we just want to loin him right there at the high point of his loin just to lengthen him out just a little, but he's really just a big, stout, ended individual. Next bull coming has got some total extension to him. You know, he's got some elevation in his front end. He's really nice on the side view. You know, a lot of just total length of body, a lot of length uh, from his hooks back in through his uh, uh, pins. Next bull coming if, uh, is an individual that uh, we certainly like. Like his feet placement. As he moves on out the ring, we find him to be, you know, square bone, long strided type individual with some width and shape and you like that dark pigmentation that he's got. Okay, that was Results class number 37. 37.
Class 37, place, our winner was Heritage Ranch. I'm sorry. Second place goes to 698. Okay. Bulls First, we had Heritage Cattle Company with Third their Mr. H. Abel Manso. That's I'm a J.D.H. Turkana Manso son out of Lady H. Barbie Manso. Garrett and then we Thomas. had the Bullseye Ranch. The Bullseye this Ranch entry, which is Mr. Whoops, sorry, get that we'll change. Mr. B.E.R. Jefferson, 664, was in second. And that's going to be a J.B.R. Mr. 07 over 4 son out of Miss B.E.R. 466. So, hey, Dylan, glad you're watching. I've been missing you, Dylan. I haven't seen you all day, but I have been talking about Elgin Breeding Service. Family tradition since 1954. Been bragging on you. And this is the bull show, and you know, Dylan's all about the bulls. So, And sorry guys, we are down to just the uh, two cameras, so it makes it a little harder. We lost a camera due to a battery outage. Probably not going to get all those backdrops done. We're going to go sound off for just a moment. Tito. Okay. Alrighty, we are back. Sorry about that, guys. I had to take care of a little business. Just a reminder, we do have a lot of so photos up here and, on our uh, photo you know, site. Beef bulls again, you know, muscle with body and masculinity and breed character. Uh, 
And then we take one that has it to a little higher level, and that's the one we're winning the class with, with a unique look to it. Uh, just the way, again, he takes the perform, you know, he takes some just basic width, and I know, uh, Suzanne, the body bad weather. and shape and combination, he puts them into a really, really clean, uh, neat package of like that type and kind. The bull here in second uh, very much follows him as far as muscle and body. Uh, you know, big, stout, masculine uh, beef book that we've got uh, moves out well uh, as we go through. Next bull out uh, comes, got a lot of total length of body. You know, it's a good footy type of individual. Springly, springly, uh, long sided type of individual. Dark pigmented bull is one that uh, does have some total width and shape down its top. You know, big ended uh, uh, individual that uh, does have some just total doing ability about him. Dark pigmented bull coming next from the ground up. You know, we find him to be very sound. Has some total extension of body length. Going to give him some longevity. Congratulations. Results of the class 38 early summer yearling bulls. First place goes to entry 269, Joyce Custom Fitters. Second goes to 116, Satterfield Ranch. Third goes to entry 130, Avonlea Nietzsche. Fourth goes to entry 18, J and L Cattle Service. Okay. And fifth so goes in to entry first in our last class was the Mr. Bar D-M-M Ghost Rider. That's a Mr. H. Vega Manso's son out of Lady H. Eva Manso. And in second, we have the Mr. S&S Boone 400 over 9. That is, again, another Mr. S&S Mighty Mouse son out of Miss S&S Brindley. So we are getting ready to go to the Division Drive. Division Drive. This is going Class to be our intermediate Entry division drive. Satterfield Ranch, Mr. S N S Mo Mojo, 412 over 9. Out of Class 37, Entry 661, Heritage Cattle Company. Okay. Mr. H. Abel Manso, 307 over 9. See if I can get back up and out a little bit. Entry Try to get you guys a double angle Mr. view. Mr. RDMN Ghost Rider. Our seconds to come in out of class 35. Entry 786, J.D. Hudgens, Ferguson Cattle. J.D.H. Mr. Manso 522 over one. I'm back myself up a little bit. Entry 118, Satterfield Ranch, Mr. S.N.S. Pac-Man, 414 over nine. Entry 698, Bullseye Ranch, Mr. B.E.R. Jefferson, 664. And the last one is one, entry 116, Satterfield Ranch, Mr. S.N.S. Boone, 400 over nine. Yes, we will be live tomorrow. Champion, so we bull. will be live tomorrow. We will not be live tonight for the showmanship. We did not know about it. Uh, we will be live tomorrow for the junior show. Congratulations to our class winners and, uh, and our, our seconds that's coming back in for this division and all the ones that was in the division. You know, really good. A lot of a lot of good beef bulls uh, that we've gone through and real happy with the way this has come back out and, uh, you know, lined out as far as bulls that uh, can certainly influence the industry as we go through. Congratulations. Uh, we'll select the champion. Has made a choice 
We're going to have our champion in the intermediate division is going to be Michael Joyce on the stick for Mr. Bar D M N Ghost Rider. He's a Mr. H. Vega Manso son out of Lady H. Eva Manso. So congratulations to you. And we come in for reserve consideration with the Satterfield Ranch, Mr. SNS Boone. And it looks like that we have the Heritage Bull is gonna be, I think this is gonna be the Mr. H. Malone Manso. Okay, so our intermediate championship goes to the Joyce Custom Fitters entry 269, Mr. Bar D M N Ghost Rider. And our reserve intermediate champion goes to the Heritage Cattle Company entry 654, Mr. H. Malone Manso 32. Okay, so congratulations. Hey, Tony, glad to see you're watching again. Okay, so our intermediate champion in was the Bar DM. Sorry, guys, this let me get class this. 42 late junior bearded bulls. Let me get off and into, this is the junior bulls. Okay, so this is the first class of, whoa, I'm lost. Okay, this is gonna be class 42 because 41 only had one entry. So, 42. Yes, ma'am. What you looking at? Oh, it's right here. Oh, okay. Thank you. All right, you guys, I'm going to step away from the camera for a moment, and I'll be right back. Sorry guys, hope you got to see something. So sorry, I had to step away from the camera for a moment, Tito. So here we are. I think class settles out just as we go through again. Differences that we've got, but just the bull that comes to the top is just, uh, you know, he's just real and is just overall makeup. You know, lean in his condition, just a very excellent look to him. And he's the one I prefer as far as his movement. I mean, he's good on his feet. You know, he's got that stride, the pasture and uh, cushion, just the curvature there in his hocks. And, uh, you know, he just uh, shows us just a lot of length of body, a lot of length of front. I like the uh, completeness of the second place individual. Uh, you know, again, he's big top, big body, and he goes together good with his frame as he goes out. Uh, he's one that uh, does have a lot of total body capacity. A lot of capacity in the third place bull, like a rocking back in those shoulders. Maybe uh, again, understand hauling and, and on the concrete things. I'd like just to see 
just to be a little bit more fluent in his movement and he's coming at us today. But again, congratulations, big stout uh, individual with a lot of just width and shape to him. Okay, that was class number 40. I lied. I think it was 43. Results of class 42. That was class 42. First place goes to entry 678, VA Ranch. Second goes to 271, Joyce Custom Okay, so 678 was Mr. V8, 582 over 8. And that's going to be a, a noble son. Somebody was asking us about if there was anything that was bred noble. And so that was the noble son. And that is out of Ms. V8, 46 over 8. And in second, we had the... Um, CT Gold Nugget, 14 over 9. That's going to be a DF Mr. Butterbean son out of CT Madame Bordeaux. So that was first and second in that class 42. We're now coming in with our class 43. Get that fixed for you guys. And then I believe we'll be going into a championship drive. You know, a really attractive uh, beef bull that, uh, you know, it's got the design and, and the combination of traits, uh, you know, that uh, give us importance, but yet it's got that good look to us. But tremendously uh, wide on his loin and uh, just the depth that he has in his uh, four-quarter and uh, just the uh, just American Robin breed character. Just the correlation, again, that we've gone through and... Uh, you know, we've said when we've let our frame uh, float, uh, let's let it float with some combination. Young lady's bull here, and uh, she's doing a great job with dark pigmented bull. Boy, he's good from the ground up. And, you know, when you see him move out, uh, you know, he's going to move because uh, that uh, freedom that he's got there in his pastures and his hawks. Going to give him some longevity. Congratulations. Results of the class 43. First place goes to entry 679 V8 Ranch, Mr. V8 562 over 8. Second place goes to J4 Cattle, entry 502. We're coming in with our junior champion drive. Okay, guys, this is coming in with in our first class. junior champion drive. That will go to Cooper Broussard, entry 825, with CT Toto Manso 16. In our class 42, entry 678, V8 Ranch, Mr. V8 582 over 8. And in class 43, entry 679, Mr. V8. 562 over 8. There was no second place in the first class. The next class, to entry 271, the Joyce Custom Fitter CT Gold Nugget. In class 43, entry 502, J4 Cattle, Mr. V8 538 over 8. This is our lineup for our junior gray bull. These are our junior champion gray bulls.
Lots of, lots of bulls represented in this lineup as we go through. And, uh, you know, single entering, we watched him walk in, knowing he's a single uh, dark pigmented bull on the younger end of this drive. And, you know, he did one with some reach, you know, because he's good from the foundation up and, uh, and he's built right and uh, goes together really well. You know, we uh, head out of that second class and we said, you know, here's a bull that wins it just as total extension. And he's one of those, what you see is what you get, just because he's lean in his condition. But man, he's got that length and, and uh, hip in him uh, that shows us just a lot of just masculinity. And then just the way the, the combination of traits uh, and the way that they go together uh, in the bull that won this last class as we go through. I think when we step back and go through and analyze and, uh, and uh, everything that kind of comes and checks the box, congratulations, he'll be our division champion. Okay, the B8 Ranch Bull is going to be the division champion in the junior. Yep, junior. Had a look and see. Okay, so... That... Okay, if Luann's watching, let me know which one that was. It's starting to get a blur today. I'm going to say that was the Mr. V8 582 over 8. Mm. Our junior champion is Let's see. entry number 679 it V8 Ranch, Mr. Oh, no. V8 562 over 8. Our reserve champion Five. went to entry 678 V8 Ranch, Mr. V8 582 over 8. We're now ready for our last division of the day. Okay. Our seniors. Okay, so... We Wait. have a single entry in the first class and two in the second. Crystal. Who was champion? Was it out of the last class? Both the eights? There's just like so many. Who was leading it? Was it a Walters or was it the eight? Okay. Okay, so Luann, help me out here a little bit or Jim or whoever I'm talking to. So it was the entry number, or give me the private herd number of who just won. Whoops, sorry. I'm looking back for Luann. There it was. Okay, so. Oops, sorry, this is not junior champion. We're in the senior. It's in our senior division here, and again, uh, bull that's very upstanding and got okay, a good so foundation and very attractive along Luan the long list was, um, with and shape and dimension and mass champion. You know, just a good looking, uh, good looking bull. And we go down to, we certainly and then like reserve the moderation and who was reserve champion. Thank you. you know, okay, who was reserved? Body by 62 over really eight. Thank you. It just starts to get confused. Congratulations, these two bulls. I gotcha. 562 over 8. Thank you. Found them. Okay. So, guys. <laughs> the Yeti Sun. I know. I'm slow. It's getting long. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. Okay. So, our champion in the juniors was the V8 Ranch, Mr. V8, 582 over 8, which is a 458 over 7 Sun out of Miss V8, 46 over 8. And then in our uh, reserve champion was going to be Mr. B8, 562 over 8, and which is a Yeti son, which is a Mr. B8, 933 over 7. In class Thank 47, you. first place went to 131, Avonlea Nechi, and our second place was 649, Rodriguez Cattle Company.
Thanks, guys. I needed that help. Thank you, Jake. I really appreciate it. Luann, Jim, it takes a village. Manuel, thank you all. Lord, I got myself all confused. But I'm doing backdrop photos and I'm doing everything all at once. So by the way, there's a couple of backdrop photos from the V8 Reserve Grand Champion female up on our photo site from today. Yeah. I don't even know where I was. I'm so lost. Oh, I know where I'm at. Okay, we're in the senior now, guys. So we're last in the class senior. Of this is the last class of the seniors. It is 7 o'clock, 6.58. And we still have backdrop photos to do. You do backdrop, I'll pack up. I'm learning more and more about this boy every time I walk around. Is he that bad? Give me a heads up. Pay attention. <laughs> Okay, guys, sorry, I know. I'm doing three things at once. <laughs> Thank you, Manuel. I'm sorry. I know you're watching and I'm not, not paying attention. So sorry. It is margarita time. Thank you, Mandy. Hey, Janet, where are you? Everybody's getting ready to watch. We're gonna do the senior champion drive, and then we're going to have the grand champion need the battery. Yes. You good? Is that one gonna work? Thanks. We good? Yes. Okay. You still have card space, right? It's been a long day, guys. Reggie Rodriguez, how are you? This is a lot in one day. And they still have all the showmanship. Jackpot showmanship, but we're going to be gone. Carlos, it's the Brahmin Journal. We're the ones that do this. Hey, Dana. Y'all's bull did really good, by the way. But we you are team Brahmin Journal. Oops, here we go. Again, uh... You know, a lot of beef bulls and bulls that Look at these uh, bulls. give us some wow. growth and, and extension all the way through. But uh, happy to see that they they combined, uh, you know, the muscle and the body that we have to it. The one that leads off the class does look at it and has a look that also it takes him to, a, to an Excel part. Uh, just the way that just his built and structure, uh, you know, he's, he's naturally full of width and shape and just naturally, you know, good looking and thank you. Thank you, Manuel. Well, that's VA 322 over 8 that's way in first in that through. class. Just his lift and his chest the way that his neck comes out, total length. To me, uh, for him over the bull that we have in second. Bull in second is big body, easy doing. Is the you know, VA, is there a VA bull in second too? We go through. Same way with the, uh, in the second, guys. The, uh, Dark pigmented bull here in third. Uh, you know, and to me, it's his body and width and shape to take him over the next bull in the lineup because, you know, we're ended up here, uh, you know, in class with really an excellent individual. Long yeah, that's body, Cowboy in third. You know, he's, uh, big so it had to be the next bull in second. All the way through. You know, and I think when you watch him walk out, you see he's got a I'm lot gonna of this, uh, you know, natural, I'm going to guess it's 365 over 8 uh, second. Ability as far as uh, fault free structure. Like that total length of body, very clean made type bull, very way to end up. Results of class 48 on the H Spring Bulls. First place went to entry 681 VA Ranch. Second place went to 680 VA Ranch. Third place went to 881 The Rich Cattle Company. 
and fourth place went to 155, Garrett Berry. Okay, guys. Now bringing in our classes for our senior champion drive. Senior champion drive. We had a single entry in the first class. This is entry 157, the IS Ranch. IS Mr. Weeks, 137. Class 47 was so entry the sire, 131. So the guys, of this Nancy. bull right here is the sire of those F1s that I've been talking to you about. Thank eight. you, Jake. I appreciate it. In our last class, okay, entry so 681 with the V8 Ranch. We had a single. V8 322 over 8. Our seconds that came in, there was none in the class first class. In class 47, We're watching. Rodriguez Manuel, Manuel Company, I'm on it. Entry 649, FH Mr. Steele, 818. And our last class was entry 680, V8 Ranch, Mr. V8 365, over 8. This is our lineup for our senior gray bull. Thank you. I got lost. I was like completely lost. Dakota said I'm doing a great job, but little did he know how badly I got lost. Okay. Let's see what the judge is doing. He's moving them around. He's walking them. We have a couple of V8 bulls there at the end in the last senior class. Thank you, Manuel, though I did get lost. No excuse, but my catalog is not stapled, so my papers get confused, and they get shuffled up a little bit on occasion. And it's cold, and it's gonna snow. Don't like cold. Hang in there, Michael Joyce. Congratulations as we go through here and finish our last division and uh, you know our bull show has been fun, it's been competitive and you know a lot of just great individuals and uh, you know it's be interesting as you go home and incorporate those into herds or sell them into other herds and, and again the progeny but again it's been a, been a really really uh, competitive uh, divisions all the way through. Check. And let's see, he is going to the V8 Bull. Okay, so he is going to the V8 Bull and he it picked the V8 Bull and that is gonna be Mr. V8 322 over eight. Okay, so we have Mr. V8 322 over 8 was our senior champion. Michael Joyce is hanging in there with the other V8. And he chose, I believe Michael Joyce was senior. He's exiting the ring rather quickly because he knows he has to get back around to the other side. So senior champion was uh, the other V8 bull. So we went V8, V8. So we have 322 over 8. Am I correct, Our Manuel? Champions today. Let's see. Entry 681 V8 range. Yep. Mr. V8 322 over 8. And that's a 380, son. And our reserve senior champion, V8 Ranch. Entry 680, Mr. V8. Okay, and then that over is eight. another uh, 380, son. Um, the one that was champion is out of Miss V8 33 over 8. And the one that it was reserved champion in the senior is out of Miss V8, 805 over eight. Okay, guys. Sorry, I never even got that banner up about the fact that it was senior. It's been a long day. Okay, this I'm gonna do right. No We're now ready for mistakes. our overall champion drive. Grand champion. Coming in is our calf champion. Entry 659, Heritage Cattle Company, Mr. H. Statesman Manso. Our intermediate champion was entry 269. Thank you guys Joyce so Festival much. Winners, Mr. Bar D. M. N. Ghost Rider. I think Jana's excited about that one. Our junior champion 
Entry 679, V8 Ranch, Mr. V8 562 over 8. And our senior champion, Entry 681, with the V8 Ranch, Mr. V8 322 over 8. Our reserves that are coming in, our reserve calf, Entry 543, Walters Livestock, SSS Mr. Mojito, Manzo 12. Our intermediate champion, Entry 654, with the I know, Jana. Company, Mr. H. Are you at home? Malone, You're not here. 32. Ghost Rider, Our I know, you love him. Our reserve champion, Entry 678. V8 Ranch, Mr. V8 582 over 8. Back up a little and bit so you guys can senior, see. Entry 680. A little bit more. V8 Ranch, Mr. V8 365 over 8. This is our lineup with our Grey Bulls. I think they deserve a round of applause. And one more thing. I think we need to thank our judge today, our good friend, Mr. Lee Pritchard. He has been a true friend of this Bronx breed for a hundred years. And no, he's not that old, but I think he deserves a round of applause. Looks like he's walking them. Again, guys, those ones on the far side are the ones that were class winners. Well, it, it's been a, a long day, but it's been a fun day. And again, as we've gone through and, and wrapped up, and uh, you know, it's, it's just great to be here. I mean, uh, as a friend back home says, it's just uh, a rancher friend at the coffee shop says, it's just great to be seen. And uh, you know, uh, I'm not going to go into to uh, you know to the wild uh, wacky world that we had in uh, 2020, but. Uh, you know, the ag sector is going to prevail in 2021. And the one that are doing what we're doing today and, uh, you know, leading and, and how we uh, raise our kids and those like that. I want to uh, say best of luck to the juniors that are showing tomorrow. I uh, hope you have a great show, and I know you will. Uh, I've had a lot of great help here today. And I mean, uh, you know, the ladies that's been through here, it's uh, been a great, uh, great help, Morgan, that you put together. Great help. And again, uh, let's uh, let's uh, put your hands together and uh, give a hand because we've got a good lineup. Uh, when I get in my truck in a minute and take that three and a half drive home, I'll probably rehash, but I won't have any second thoughts uh, about, uh, man, I wish I'd have done that or flipped that. It's going to be uh, as I see it. Okay, and we have a champion. We have a grand champion, and it is going to come out of the junior division. So our junior champion was our grand champion. Looking through my papers. Our junior champion was Mr. V8 
582 over 8. 582 over 8 was champion. Okay, our reserve grand champion was uh, Mr. Ghost Rider. I think Jan is over there probably like throwing a big old fit. So congratulations. That was our grand champion drive. And uh, been a long day. And we will come back.